Okay. And when a firefighter is killed in the line of duty, a very specific protocol is followed. NBC 26's Nina Sperano continues our team coverage tonight and is live in studio with more details. Yeah. Whenever a firefighter is killed in the line of duty, they follow guidelines from the International Association of Firefighters. The process is long and very well orchestrated. We spoke with Assistant Fire Chief in De Pere who says all firefighters are hurting today, no matter where they are in Wisconsin. The formality for a line of duty death serves as a way to let everyone mourn together. No matter where you go in Wisconsin or no matter where you go, um, you know, in the United States, uh, it's a tragedy. No matter where it happens, we take it very seriously. Once all the details of the family's wishes have been established, the fire department follows strict orders for a line of duty funeral with full honors. There will be a procession to the church for funeral services where each firefighter will hold an axe and arms or another rescue apparatus. The full honor guard will be present. Following funeral services, there will be a second procession to the cemetery, followed by a full grave site ceremony. Now, following those services, there will be a bell ringing and the firefighter's prayer. The ringing of the bell represents the end of the emergency and return to quarters. Flags will also be lowered at half staff and badge covers will be worn for a period of 30 days. Regina.